Okay, once we are at the home page, I want to show you this. We're going to create those menus right over here. And I go back to my dashboard. And I'm going to click on online store. And then I'm going to click on navigation. Right over there. You wait. And I will click on the main menu. I'm going to click on main menu. And I'm going to click add menu to item. These are the current menus. I'm going to enter here man jackets and I'm going to bind it to the collection that we have just created in the per first lecture. I'm going to bind it to man jackets to that collection. So we can add products to that collection soon and they will appear in that page. So I'm going to add another menu man shirts and I'm going to bind that to another collection called man shirts. So you can make create you, cre you can create your collection and link it to a page so the products will appear on that page so I'm gonna save menu click on save menu and I will wait and I go to my website and I will refresh this site and you will see what happens okay it's loading and loading there it is okay we got our tabs right over here our menus the men jackets and the men shirts. When I click on men jackets, there are no products in it because we didn't have any product yet. We're gonna add some products soon. So the products will appear here. The men jackets will appear there. And the men shirts, they will appear right over here. So, okay. Yeah, now I wanna show you how you create a sub menu. Uh, a sub menu is a menu under other item so I'm gonna call this sub page and I'm gonna link it to a default collection this is just to show you how you create a sub menu to the men's shirts and I will click add and I drag it a little bit to the right and it becomes a sub menu so right over here I'll show you what I mean wait I'm gonna save this menu and I'm gonna show you what I mean okay Right over here, we got our site. I'm gonna refresh. And right over here, under men's shirts, as you can see, is a submenu created. So, that is how you create submenus and menus. So, yeah, I will refresh the page. And I will go to home. So, in a few seconds you can create menus and you can buy them with collections. You, you can also buy them with products or, or something else or a page. But in this case we buy them with collections. So. so I will remove this menu and I hope you've learned how to create menus and how to bind collections to those menus. So I want to thank you for watching and I will see you soon.